question to Neil as well. Aberdeen have proven themselves to be the second best team in the country for the last few years. How close do you think you are to them at the moment? Um, probably better suit to tell you after Saturday's game. Uh, going into it, going into every game, we believe we can get something from every game as you showed up you know, playing against Celtic. Um, but at this moment in time, I'm not sure. I believe in myself, I believe in my teammates. So, you know, I, I think we'll run them close. You know, I think we've got players just as good as their players. So, as I said, after Saturday, we'll probably be a bit, a bit easier to answer that question. How much confidence will you have taken from the result at Celtic Park? Because it demonstrated not probably just to yourselves, but to Hibs fans and probably everyone that watches the league that you're not intimidated by any team in this uh, division. Yeah, massive confidence. Um, I think going into the game, we were quietly confident in our own abilities and we knew that you know once we did get the ball we, we could score um, so we did believe in ourselves and like you said probably people outside of this this building probably didn't believe they probably thought we'd go in there you know hide into nothing kind of thing and we did we did show that uh, we could go there we could score two goals and you know ran them really really close. These are games that you find easier to get yourselves up for you know, he was saying you know, he doesn't worry about these games it's the games against perhaps the so-called lesser opposition in the league that he worries about motivation and getting yourself up for it, but these are the games that nobody, nobody in the dressing room is, is down for. Them. Uh, you know, I think you know. Sometimes the manager does say that, but for me personally, I prepare the same no matter who we're playing. You know, whether we're playing in the cup game against you know one of the lower teams, or we're playing against Celtic, I prepare exactly the same and I try and put in exactly the same performance. I think the boys are the same. I think some days it just doesn't happen for you. You know, I think some days it, it really doesn't, and you know we, we can't really put our finger on why that is. But I think the bigger clubs maybe come to us and expect to win, which makes it a much more open game. Whereas, you know, teams that are, you know, mid-table to, to the bottom half of the table might come and, and sit behind the ball and it makes it slightly harder for us, um, probably you know, slightly more boring to watch because uh, it's a much more tactical game. And I think that, that might be the problem rather than us not preparing ourselves or us not being up for the game because we're always up for games. That must be the frustration for you in terms of results. I mean, you've shown you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best teams in the league, get results. As you showed at Celtic Park last week, but then against some other teams, it's not quite always clicked in that sense. Yeah, um, you know, I think the only game it hasn't really clicked was the Hamilton game. Um, you know, I think other than that, we've, we've drawn a couple of games that we probably should have won, you know, which we've dominated. And on another day, we've probably gone and won them, you know, by a, a couple of goals. So I think Hamilton's the only game it hasn't really, really clicked. And you know, as I said, we can't put, really put our things on why that did happen. But you know, we learned from our mistakes and we've moved on. We've only lost one game. Uh, so far this season, and we're, we're a new team to this, you know, we, we come from the Championship, so by right we should be probably a lot lower than we are. Is that a bit of erraticness in terms of results to be expected in that sense? You're still trying to find your feet in terms of what's quality or what type of things expected against this higher level opposition? Yeah, um, as I said, for me it's the first time playing against a lot of these teams. Um, you know, a few of the other boys have got a bit of experience in this league, but for the majority of us actually it is the first time playing against them. So. You are almost trying to like feel your way into the game and trying to work on people's strengths and weaknesses as, as you're going. Um, but as I said, we, should, we probably could have picked up more points. Probably should have picked up more points, but you know we haven't. But as I said, we've only lost one game. And that's so. it. I was saying that sense, he's, he's, as the season goes on, we get that experience, that knowledge of guys and the individual traits. In yeah. Position. Yeah, definitely. Kick one of you, but then. Yeah, yeah. Well. I would hope so. You know, don't draw back to this and go, hang on, you said this is going to happen. Uh, no, I'd hope so. I'd say Calvin and the, you know, the boys in there do an awful lot for us and they get clips of each player, but there's nothing like being out there and actually playing against them. You know, It's all right seeing clips when they're playing against somebody else, but you want to really feel it for yourself. So, as I said, you know, it's, it's early days for us, but you know, we're doing relatively well for a team that's just been promoted. Um, you know, I think people do forget that because of the size of the club. Whichever way you look at it, we've just come from the Championship, so we are doing relatively well. We could have a few more points, but at this moment in time, we don't. Martin, you're saying that, yeah, you've just come off the Championship, but you've got to Ibrox and win. You've got to Celtic Park and got a draw. That raises the expectancy of the supporters, doesn't it? Does it also raise the expectancy from the players? No, because we always expect the best from each other um, and, and us as a team. We go into every game thinking that we can win. So even if we'd be sitting here and we've lost five games, we'd still be saying the same thing. You know, we go into games expecting to win, wanting to win, and we work all week trying to, you know, focus on winning the games. So it doesn't raise it, it for us. Um, obviously, fans might look at it and be like, hang on a minute, if we can do that against Celtic, if we can do that against Rangers, why can't we do it against Hamilton? You know, football's not that simple. And that's why we all love the game, because it, is, it doesn't work like that. But as I said, we're up for every game. You know, we, we think we can win every game. We think we can 
you know, beat, beat everyone and that's just the attitude we have as a team and I think that's the right attitude to have. Tell us a little bit about your, your charity. What yeah, um, just started. Tower, I think, yeah, it? yeah, obviously everyone knows about the, you know, the fire that happened there. So um, I've just started obviously raising some money that I'll run uh, going into December and then I'll go down there myself and, you know, hand it over. I think we're going to try and work with kids, um, you know, and try and make Christmas a bit better for them, the ones that have obviously you know, lost their homes and, you know, been rehoused wherever they've gone. So we're going to raise some money and go down there and, and you know, hopefully it helps it helps someone. And what, what did, do you have any association with? No, a, a friend of a friend was, was, was living in there, but for me it was it's quite a touching story. I don't know how much you know about it, but I... I watched a few things on the news, um, you know. Then I've, you know, I've read a few interviews, and it, it, it could have happened to anyone. You know, it could, it could have been me, um, and and that's what I think. Uh, you know, supporting hour and a half from from where I'm I'm brought up. So, you know, I just think it's a weird one. You know, you go to go to bed thinking everything's fine. You wake up and you know you, you could have lost your family. You know, you've definitely lost your home. You know, some people have lost their kids. Some people have lost their parents. It's just a it's, just, it's a hard time, you know, for them, and I just thought I'm in the position I'm in. You know, I, I can get some science stuff together, and I can raise some money, and if I can make you know one person smile in and around Christmas, and you know, make them forget about what's happened just for you know a, a little while, and you know, my job will be done. And there's some of your colleagues helping you as well. Yeah, yeah massively. Um, you know, not only colleagues, you know, people from within sport. Um, you know, Harry Arter at Bournemouth's helped me. Um, Charlie Austin's helped me. Kevin Long's helped me. Um, Anthony Joshua's helped me. Scott Quigg's helped. You know, there's, there's there's even more people have signed stuff. So it's been it's been really really good. You know, Brandon here's got me a signed Man City shirt. So you know, everyone's pulled together, and it just shows. You know, for them it's a small thing. You know, signing something and, and sending it off. But if we can auction it and get some money, it it just shows. You know, if people do pull together, we can we can make somebody else happy, and you know that, that's what we're aiming to do. You know we do. Yeah, I knocked him out a couple of times. So, uh, <laughs> you can't broadcast that, by the way. No, um, I've I've been to watch him train, and I, you know I know a few people at match room, and you know I know him to say hello to, but you know, that's that, that's about it. But no, um, he's been really good, and as I said, other people have been really really good as well and helped. So you know I'm really thankful to all of them. Did you grow up in you know one of these terrible situations? Did you know family friends? No, I don't know, but um, some of my friends did. Yeah. Um, you know. In Redden, they're not, not as hot as those ones, to be honest. But no, you know, I, I didn't myself, um, but some of my friends did, you know. So as I said, it could have been them in the situation, it, or it could have been me, you know. If, if life was different, I could have been living in one of them as an adult, you know. You, you never know. As I said, I'm quite lucky that I've played football and I've you know, experienced some of the maybe finer things in life. But if my life would have gone a different way and, and, and I was living there, it could have been me in there. So. That's what I was going to ask. I mean, you know, footballers, what a team could put a bad reputation, you know, obviously the money there and things like that, but I mean, from your point of view, trying to arrange this and getting teammates and, and colleagues and guys used to play with together, I mean, I take it, it shows that, you know, the guys are, they can have these sort of selfless moments and they are can be so involved and they help out and things like that. Yeah, I mean, you know, footballers are only human, you know, it's, it's the same as any, any other man or woman, you know, so I think sometimes I do get a, a bad rap because people maybe sometimes are jealous of, you know, everyone wants to be a footballer when they're growing up and sometimes people look at them and say oh well he's not doing enough and he's not doing enough maybe they don't broadcast what they are actually doing but I know an awful lot of people not just in football and sport who, who do a lot for charity who do a lot for local community and you know as I said not all the time it's not always on social media so people don't necessarily know about it but um, there is a lot of sports people and sports women who do an awful lot and, and I know of an awful lot you know and, that, and I don't know everybody so I think sometimes people do say oh they don't do enough but for me, for the people I know, have been you know, very open, and no one said no to me when I've asked someone to be signed. So, you know, I'm very thankful to them.